Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between a jailbroken iPhone and an unjailbroken iPhone. And I'm going to be using the same jailbroken iPhone 4 running iOS 4.1 that was jailbroken with Lime Rain. And the way I'm going to test the unjailbroken portion is by going into safe mode. And basically this disables all of your mobile substrate extensions like SB settings, Winterboard, QTweeter, and things like this. And this pretty much is the exact equivalent of an unjailbroken iPhone. So the way I'm actually going to do the test is I'm just going to open a bunch of different applications, open it, wait for it to load, close it, and then move on to the next one. Uh, I'm going to do this for about 15 apps or so, and then I'm going to go into safe mode and do the same thing. And I'm going to put everything side by side on your video sc on on your screen so you can see the uh, the uh, the differences there. And all of the applications in the multitasking dock are closed. I will clear everything out once I go into safe mode as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Okay, so that's about it, and you could definitely see that opening apps is definitely, f it's it's definitely noticeably faster in safe mode than when you have all of your mobile substrate extensions enabled. So, basically, what I'd like to get across is that the more mobile substrate extensions that you have enabled, uh, the slower your phone will get. Um, so, really be minimalistic with what you really need. like. Do you really need Winterboard? Is it really worth having? Uh, like, uh, what else do I have on here that I'm going to get rid of? Like Lock Info. Do I really need Lock Info? Do I really need Multitasking Time? You know, these are really cool mod mods and hacks, but do you really need them? You know, it may be cool to show off to some people a couple times, but you know, th the speed gains that you get when you're not actually using these things is it's actually really noticeable. And, you know, you, you could be jailbroken and you don't have to have any of these mobile substrate extensions like Cydia. I mean, having Cydia installed isn't going to slow anything down. The same goes for iFile, and that's it. So, uh, so when you have your mobile substrate extensions disabled, things are definitely faster, and I'm definitely going to uninstall as many things as I can. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and Lee... I mean, subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw, and we'll see you guys later.